Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just want to say thank you to my subscribers. I don't do that very often, hardly ever. And uh, I do appreciate you and uh, for everyone that you may have shared with and brought to hear a word from the Lord. Thank you so much. The Lord bless and keep you. Yeah, I have my little uh, picture here. Happy fall, y'all. I'm kind of from the southern part of America, so that's how we still talk sometimes. And we don't want to lose that, actually. <laughs> We're kind of pleased with some things maybe we shouldn't be so pleased with. I wanted to share a scripture with you, a couple of scriptures uh, from Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. And going over to verse 16, For a just man falleth seven times, and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth, lest the Lord see it, and it displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked. For there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. My son, fear thou the Lord and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ru ruin of them both. Praise the Lord. Happy fall, y'all. You know, there's a book, Great Expectations, by Charles Dickens. It has the most famous opening line in any novel. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Depends upon whose side you belong, what these times are for you. We love the Lord Jesus Christ, and we're looking up. He comes soon. Praise the Lord. Acts 2.38, if you need to give your heart to the Lord, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Enjoy these autumn days. Praise the Lord. 